my second video on yeast artificial chromosome that is yak factor so friends the yak factor is a uh, is a circular plus mid factor okay and yak vector are the genetically modified or genetically engineered chromosome and derived from the dna of the yeast like the saccharomyces cerevisiae collided with the bacterial plasmid and or human dna so friends in this uh, circular uh, yak vector we can insert our gene of interest like the human dna of size about uh, 100 to 1000 kb of size we can insert in the yeast artificial chromosome vector so this is the picture you can see here this is the picture of the circular yak vector that is yeast artificial chromosome vector so here you can see the centromere region and this centromere region are the required for the mitotic stability okay this cn4 and there is also presence of tryptophan and autosomal replicating se sequences these are ars1 and trp1 and these are the genes for other yak factor cloning sites for genes located within the SUP4 region. The SUP4 region means the suppressor region where, where the where is the presence of cloning site or the MCS region where the gene of interest we can uh, insert there and for the cloning purposes. And in this circular plasmid, there is also presence of ampicillin origin of replication in the telomeric sequences. And these telomeric sequences are required for the um, broken down or the breaking of the whole circular plasmid into linear one so friends there is also presence of uracil biosynthesis pathway and the restriction enzymes like the bam age one and for and this bam age one are the restriction enzyme or the molecular scissors which cut the circular plasmid into a linear form and also and the his3 is the is cloned with the telomeric sequences and allows the formation of functional telomeres in yeast so friend this is the features of the yeast artificial chromosome vector this is a, a circular plasmid and which is broken down to linear one so i am coming to the next slide which uh, is the mechanism part or the technique of cloning in the yak factor with the human dna so you can see here the human dna in the step one the we can uh, we can take any gene of interest uh, so commonly human dna is taken so the human dna is cut with the restriction and enzymes or endonuclease like the ecor one in which cuts this human dna into the pieces and these pieces are and this human dna pieces are ligated with the yak factor you can uh, i have earlier told about the yak, uh, yak factor so these pieces of human dna are ligated with the yak factor in this circular plasmid which form the linear one i i have uh, told earlier so this in this uh, and this linear form broken down into two branches two branches and this human dna is located between the two branches and from a clone um, dna or a single clone dna which is you, you can see here in the step three and insertion of dna into the cloning site when the cloning purpose is occurred then the uh, inactive it inactivate a mutant expressed in the vector dna and red yeast colonies are appear okay friends if the cloning is done in proper way then the transformant are observed and the transformant are appear in red colonies and the red colonies indicates that the it is a recombinant or a transformant if the, there is a appearance of white colonies then it means that it is a non-recombinant or a non-transformant so friend is the mechanism part of the yak factor so friend you, you we can uh, clone a, any gene of interest with the yak factor it should be size from 100 to 1000 kb in the uh, size of the uh, gene of interest it is simple uh, method we have to cut the dna with the restriction enzyme and we have to insert with the yak factor in the cloning site within the scp4 region and forming a clone dna and if the clone dna is forms the red colonies or transformant then it is a recombinant if there is no appearance of red colonies if it shows the white colon then it is the non-recombinant because because it is not uh, uh, the because the gene of interest is not uh, cloned with the yak vector in a proper way so friends thank you for listening my video because this is my second video on the yak factor is artificial chromosome factor so friends my next video on